And hello everyone, welcome to the first of my pony videos. But I said I was going to do them and now I'm actually doing them. Yay! So let's start off by saying that ever since the show started, the elements of Harney have been a centre point of the show as a sort of massive magical weapon for the main six to use. And coming along with that, obviously fans have speculated on there being a sort of counter to that, a sort of element of disharmony or chaos. But what if I told you that the elements of disharmony slash chaos not only exist, but they've been there under our notice the entire time? Okay, that might be a little bit of a stretch, but hey, uh, it's a good intro. Anyway, this is a new topic, something that's coming to my mind just after having watched the latest episode, The Mean Six, in which we see... Chrysalis, a former Changeling Queen, the pose now, make copies of the main six kind of evil copies in an attempt to gain control of the said elements of harmony, which are tied to each of the main six in turn. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the elements of harmony are basically a kind of jewellery sort of magical artifact thing, and each consists of six elements, the elements of friendship or harmony, whatever you want to call them, we have loyalty, we have laughter, we have kindness, generosity, we have honesty, and then we have magic, or friendship, or whatever the hell you want to call the sixth element that kind of ties everything together. And a few seasons ago, in the two part of Princess Twilight Sparkle, they were recalled back to their original growth place, the Tree of Harmony buried deep within the heart of the Everfree Forest, in an attempt to restore the balance, because plunder vines were basically wreaking havoc and strangling the tree. So yes, we have these six jewelry things that reside inside this crystal tree, which was originally grown many, many years ago uh, from a little crystal seed, which was basically given traits of the virtues of six ponies which lived back then, who were kind of the ancient equivalent of the main six, basically the heroes of Equestria back then. Strong ponies who all represented a virtue, which have come to then have a counterpart in the main six's element. I can't actually remember all the virtues off the top of my head, so please do excuse me for that. Last season ended with Shadow Play, which basically saw those six ponies being reintroduced to modern day Equestria, having been stuck in a sort of shadowy limbo for many, many years with an ancient evil called the Pony of Shadows. As part of trying to rebanish the Pony of Shadows, the Elements of Harmony were going to be used and it was said that they were going to vanish along with it. However, the banishment didn't happen, the shadow part went, but not the Pony who was possessed. So basically, the Elements of Harmony were used to heal instead. And towards the end of that two-parter, Fluttershy said something about how the elements hadn't vanished because they were used for healing instead of vanishing. And that's got me thinking, along with something that's happened in the Mean Six. Now, I'm going to say there's going to be some spoilers here, so if you haven't seen that episode, please do turn off now. Okay, we're all good. So, towards the end of that episode, the Mean Six are basically uh, killed by the Tree of Harmony. The six elements go dark and reach out magical tendrils and basically wither them back to the magical wood from which they came. And that combined with, again, what Fluttershy said has got me thinking. Is it possible to turn the element of harmony dark and does using them in a negative fashion actually have some very bad side effects? Now, we kind of already have a little bit of an example of this because in years past, the first wielders of the Elements of Harmony we know were Princess Celestia and Princess Luna. They each wielded three each. However, when Luna became Nightmare Moon, Celestia then had to wield all six herself. And by banishing Nightmare Moon, or Luna, to the moon for a thousand moons or whatever the hell it was, I can't quite remember right now, I have a feeling that doing that meant that she lost her connection to the Elements of Harmony. And of course, Luna lost hers as well as a result, but I have a feeling that the reason they lost that connection was because the elements were used for banishment instead of trying to heal Luna at that point. Now, something else that was said about the elements of harmony during the Shadow Play two-parter last season is that the Tree of Harmony and the elements kind of maintain the balance of the land and keep everything running smoothly and well and etc etc, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, 
if the elements turn dark, then that would probably have a very bad effect on the land of Equestria as we know it. I mean, if the fact that they were missing from the Tree of Harmony let the Plunder Vines go wild, God knows what would happen if the elements turned bad. And in fact, actually, if the elements corrupted, then would they corrupt the Tree of Harmony or would it kill it? I don't know. This is a question I have to ask. And if these dark elements, these corrupted elements of harmony were remo actually removed from the tree, could Chrysalis actually wield them, Miss Changeling Queen? I mean, after all, as I said, Celestia has wielded all six elements by herself in the past, and Chrysalis has shown that she can sometimes be just as powerful, if not more powerful, if she's fed upon love, as Celestia. So having a single wielder of the elements isn't outside the realm of possibility given what we've already seen. As well, I have to wonder that if the elements went dark, would this have any sort of effect on where they came from? Would it have any effect on the pillars themselves or their virtues? Would it weaken those virtues? Would it weaken the powers that the pillars hold? Would there be any sort of physical effect or would they feel, for lack of a better term, would they feel some sort of disturbance in the force? Hell, if we want to really stretch it, maybe the corruption of the children elements because the elements of harmony obviously came from the pillar's virtues, if the elements were corrupted, could that have a knock-on effect and corrupt the virtues? I mean, the virtues don't really have as much of a sort of physical presence, besides the items that the six pillars use, and I'm not entirely sure how those would corrupt, but it's an interesting idea to think about, isn't it? And then, of course, talking not just about the wider lay of the land and the balance of it, but the other things that have spawned from the elements of harmony. Now, at the end of Princess Twilight Sparkle, the tree itself gave the ponies this special lockbox, which they unlocked at the end of that season, and then went on to spawn a massive crystal castle for Twilight, and at the beginning of the next season, it spawned the uh, map table, also called the cutie map, which I agree with most people, it's a slightly silly name, but, you know, if it's the kind of name, then I gotta use it. If the... Elements of Harmony went screwy, or the Tree of Harmony itself died or got corrupted, what effect would that have on the castle? Would the castle fall down? Would the map table start shooting off weird, random, magical energies all over the place? I mean, we've seen that Starlight can use his magical energies to time travel, so God knows what would happen if the magical energies went screwy there. And now that if we say the elements have gone corrupted, is there a way to restore them? Like, do, would they have to be completely destroyed in order to restore balance to the land? Or, if we go back to the virtues and the pillars again, would the virtues of the pillars actually be able to combat them if they're not affected by this corruption themselves? And as was actually shown during Shadowplay, through Twilight and various other ponies that we have met, magic has moved on a lot from the pillars' time. The pillars basically in viewed the crystal seed with part of their own virtues over a thousand years ago. So magic has moved on, like, is there any sort of magical way to cleanse the elements if they did happen to get turned dark? Or maybe even the rainbow power or some alicorn power or something, because I mean, we haven't seen the rainbow power very often uh, since that got revealed at the end of that particular season before the crystal castle did. And for good reason, it wasn't very popular, although Pinky did very briefly manifest her rainbow power mane during the mean six, which I thought was quite a funny little cameo. Or hell, maybe even they're going to pull something out of their flank again, like they did with the rainbow powers. Maybe there's some undiscovered skill that would cleanse the elements. Who knows? And if, say, you know, we do if we say that the elements can't be corrupted, like, you know, they're too pure and good and magical and powerful to be corrupted, well, Chrysalis did use a duplication spell. Now she actually knows where the elements are. Is it possible she could find another cell to maybe duplicate the elements and make an actual canon set of elements of disharmony or chaos? And if so, would she wield them? Or would she make another six pony clones to use them? Or would she find uh, already existing six creatures to wield these elements of disharmony or chaos. Again, it's just something nice to think about. Like, all these ideas going around in my head. And of course, this is all just me thinking about weird things and I'm just putting it out there for you to share with you guys, see what you think. Uh, I will say this though, I did actually come up with a lot of these thoughts before I actually watched some of the analyst videos and Dr. Wolf did actually bring up this idea of the dark elements thing and how he felt that there wasn't really much payoff and hey, I agree with that and kind of hoping that maybe something about the dark elements is going to be the payoff we get from that episode. 
But there is one other small thing in that episode that could be future payoff. As we saw, Chris Liss took photos of all those ponies and took their hair, because she needed their photos, she needed the hair, and she needed a representative of their cutie marks to clone them. She made six clones, but she took seven photos. If Chris Liss got a strand of Starlight's hair, then suddenly we might have a mean Starlight going around, and wouldn't that just be like an evil changeling? to basically hit a pony who's been running from her past with a physical representation of her past. Anyway, thank you for listening to me ramble on about this. I'm the Predicted Cyborg in Predicted Pegasus form, and all that's left for me to say is thank you and good day.